Brothers and sisters, what's happened in the public sector over the last year or so, they've attacked, attacked, attacked. They've said that the unions are the problem, that it's not the politicians, or it's not the corporate CEOs, or it's not the billionaires that are running the politicians, that it's working people that are screwing up this country. Well, I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, that's bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, So they think, brothers and sisters, that they can affect the public sector because 33% of the public sector is unionized and only 7% of the private sector is unionized. So now Verizon has decided that we're too weak, you're too weak to fight back. I don't believe them. Do you believe them? No. Do you believe them? No. They can't hear you. No. Are you ready to fight back? No. Are you ready to fight back? No. Are you ready to kick some ass? No. Are you ready to win? No. Are you ready to win? No. You're ready to win. No. Brothers and sisters, what they want, what they want is they want your union. Are you going to let them have it? No. Are you going to let them have it? No. Are you going to do what it takes? No. Are you going to do what it takes? No. Are you going to do what it takes? No. Brothers and sisters, this shit, this garbage that they put on the bargaining table, if you're ready to stand behind these folks standing up here, we're ready to tell them, stick this up your ass. But brothers and sisters, as I said, in the public sector, they've been fighting against unions now for about a year. Well, everybody knows what happened in Wisconsin. There was a spark there, and the spark went around the world, actually. And the spark turned into a fire, and now Wisconsin is fighting back. So brothers and sisters, in the public sector everywhere, they're fighting back. Our members in New Jersey are fighting back. We're getting beat up, but we're fighting back. All members in the public sector in New York are fighting back. All public sector workers who belong to unions are fighting back, and they're gonna win, brothers and sisters, because their cause is just. So brothers and sisters, what we have to do here today, what we have to do here today is make this the spark in the private sector. But we have to take that spark. Each one of you has to go back to your friends and your co-workers and your family, your brothers, your sisters, your fathers, your mothers, your cousins, and tell them what these sons of bitches are trying to do is kill the middle class and we're not gonna let them. So brothers and sisters, this is a spark. But we need a firestorm. We need lots more than just a spark. So we have to fan that spark. We have to fan those flames. We have to make sure that Verizon's overreaching bullshit at the bargaining table is the spark that ignites this country, that ignites the labor movement, that ignites every union in this country to say, if Verizon gets it, I'm next. Well, we're not gonna let them be next, because Verizon, goddammit, you're not getting it. So brothers and sisters, what the crowd here is unbelievable. There's gotta be, I don't know, 15,000 people out there. I know you can't all see them, but it's pretty amazing. And, but 15,000, as I said, is only a spa. We gotta get ready to fight. Over the next seven days, brothers and sisters, we have to make sure that this 15,000 goes back to your workplaces and tells you, brothers and sisters, that you were here today, that you stood up, you stood up for them. They should have been here too, but you stood up for them. And brothers and sisters, they have to stand up for you and for each other. We have to make sure. We have to.
to make sure, brothers and sisters, that from now on, from this day forward, this is the shot heard round the world. We have to make sure that everybody knows that Verizon's coming after us, and if we let them have it, everybody else is next. There will be no middle class in this country if Verizon and the rest of these corporate maggots have their way. What they will have is instead of a democracy, they'll have a plutocracy where Ivan Seidenberg or some other asshole CEO sits in the White House and directs this country. We cannot allow that to happen to our country because they don't care about our country, but we do, brothers and sisters. So, our message has to be, not only to, to Verizon, it's gotta be to every other CEO, it's gotta be to the bankers, to the brokers, to the billionaires, that we're not gonna put up with it anymore. That the middle class is alive, that unions are alive, and unions will be the voice for, middle, for the middle class because we are the only voice for the middle class. But we have to get the rest of the middle class behind us. They cannot sit out there and sit on their asses while you do all the work. Everybody's got to do all the work. We got to take back this country. Are you with me? Are you ready? One rally is not going to do it, brothers and sisters. We have to be ready to march. We have to be ready to sit in. We have to be ready to do whatever it takes to make sure that they don't win and we do. Are you ready? Are you ready to march? Are you ready to sit in? Are you ready to strike? Yeah. Are you ready to pick it? Yeah. We will win, brothers and sisters. We will win. Brothers and sisters, the bargaining team standing behind me are the people that are doing all the heavy lifting here. But they can't do it without you. So you gotta go back and every single workplace, every single day, every single manager has to understand that you're with us. It's not just us yelling at them, it's you yelling at them. Cause it's you they wanna screw. Thank you brothers and sisters. Thank you Chris. We gotta get in the face of every single one of them, like Chris said, every face, every day, now until we resolve this. Every one of them, thank you. Thank you for being here. This won't be the last. Thanks a lot, brothers and sisters.